Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the Antares videos. My nickname is Antari and I'm here to entertain you with another, not very typical, Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This time my opponent is a guy called Yoshzors from the TPX chat. Um, that's the place where I found him and he's also on YouTube so uh, I put the link in the description bar to his channel. Although he's not uploading uh, any Pokemon battles, uh, he's got only one uh, battle which is a month old so I highly doubt that he'll upload anytime soon. But still, if you got the will, feel free to uh, check out his work and uh, sub to him. Ok, let's get going. This is my new team, more balanced than the ones which I was using in my two previous battles, so called Ultimate Stalling Team. So, uh, I decided to lead my team with Espeon with this new dream ability called Magic Bounce, which will reflect all non attacking moves straight into the opponent. And seeing that he lead off with Latias and that he's definitely not going to set up some entry hazards, I decided to take a switch into my Mandy Bus just to absorb the special attack damage. And as you can probably see, it take it like an absolute beast. So after that, I decided to go for a Whirlwind just to confuse my opponent a bit. And uh, Whirlwind brings in Haxorus. So at this point, I can probably tell that he's either gonna go for a D Dance just to set up on me or for some Dragon move. Uh, more likely the former, so I decided to take a swing into my Magnetov and he decided to go for a Taunt, which is a bit weird, but okay. So after that, uh, I just forced him to use Earthquake on me because it's a super effective move. And I predict it and I go for my Deox defense from just to absorb the Earthquake damage. And this works out perfectly because um, my Deox's defense form is probably faster than him, so I can easily go for a Taunt just to Taunt him. But actually, I decided to go for and the T-Wave just to paralyze incoming target predicting his switch. So he decided to bring in his Volcarona, which is a perfect because I caught him uh, with this Paralyze, which is really fortunate on my part because when Volcarona is set up, there's like no game. So he decided to take a switch into his Machan, which is a wise choice of him. I decided to go for a taunt just to taunt um, Volcarona to prevent it from setting up for me. So next turn I decided to go for the South Rocks just to get some anti hazards on the field because it's really vital to have South Rocks when Volcarona is around. And after that, despite the fact that uh, my Deoxys defense is a psychic type, he decided to go for Dynamic Punch which is tough and still gives me some confused hacks. So I decided to pull off uh, this T-Wave just to paralyze this much amp, but unfortunately for me it's carrying Glamberry which will cure its status problem. And after that he decided to go for Ice Punch, and this makes me think that he's not carrying a payback, so I'm feeling kind of confident here. So I thought, you know what, okay, I'll go for T-Wave, try to paralyze it to death and then possibly sweep with Azumar. So, um, I end up hitting myself in this confusion once, and then uh, he shows me that he's actually uh, carrying this payback. So this will do absolutely outrageous amount of damage to my uh, Deoxys defense form. And after that, um, I end up uh, hitting myself in this confusion again, so he's able to pull off a payback and finish off my um, Deoxys defense form. But it's okay because it's still do its job in this match. It's set up uh, some entry hazard self rocks and uh, paralyzed Volcarona. After this, I decided to bring out my Espeon again just to scare him with my stab psyching and uh, predicting his switch into Chansey because this switch was kind of obvious, I decided to go for a trick and trap uh, his incoming Chansey with using my uh, Choice Scarf. So now his Chansey is pretty useless and I decided to go for a Psychic just predicting his switch to Machamp or something else and uh, he shows me that he's carrying Heal Ball. So I was like, fuck my life, really? Because uh, right now his Volcarona is free from this Paralyze again and it can be really uh, troublesome to all my guys. So I decided to take a switch into my Dragonite predicting his switch into um, something and it turns out that he decided to bring in his Latios so uh, I thought that thanks to my multi scale I'm able to survive uh, all of his attacks but it turns out that he's able to pull off a Draco Meteor on me so this is a one, obviously one hit KO uh, it's a super effective move and so overpowered on his Latios but hide your tears Dragonite sacrifice won't go in vain thanks to it I can easily bring in my Magneton just to resist the Dragon type attacks and to set up a substitute on him and this is my special uh, set of Magneton, it carries Substitute, Thunderbolt, uh, Hidden Power, Fire and Reflect. It is also sharing this new Dream Mortal ability of Magneton called Analytic. If uh, my Magneton is attacking second, uh, it's, all of its attacks will gain a 30% boost. So, um, because I'm behind the Substitute, his Huxor is obviously faster than me, I'd say to go for T-Bolt, this is my stab, most powerful move, and I'm attacking second, so his poke would definitely suffer. And after that, uh, I decided to predict that uh, he will predict my switch into 
uh, my Deoxys defense form, so I stay in and go for a T-Bolt and this really pays off for me because he actually goes for a D-Dance and I'm, thanks to that I'm able to uh, kill it off with my T-Bolt because I'm attacking second, so it was like amazing uh, power play of mine and epic sweep of Magnetov, <laughs> definitely. So after that he decided to bring in a good counter which is Machamp and I decided to take a switch into free time just to take the obvious dynamic punch coming. I know that I can take at least one dynamic punch because this move is resisted by my Espion and uh, his dynamic punch will give me a confused health which sucks because again there is a high chance of me hitting himself in this confusion. So he goes for a bullet punch next turn, I can take it like a pro and then go for a side kick. I was just crossing my finger not to get the confused hacks and I didn't get it. So I'm able to pull off a side kick and surprisingly for me his matchup take it. I mean it survives. So I need to take a switch into my Mandy Pass predicting his bullet punch coming and I was right. So after that uh, he will go for dynamic punch. It's probably his most powerful attack against my bones. So uh, I decided to go for a whirlwind because it's more safe um, option for me. Even though I will hit myself in this conclusion, the damage won't be that that huge as with a Brave Bird. So whirlwind brings in uh, his Latios and I'm kind of afraid of Dracometeor coming. But uh, still, even though he will kill my bird, I can still bring in Magneton to resist the Dragon type attack. Remember that he's like in minus two right now. So uh, I just go for a substitute setup on him for free and then possibly sweep the rest of his team. So I bring in my Magnetov, he decided to take a switch into his Volcarona and I predict that switch, uh, Volcarona is the major threat to all my guys. So I decided to go straight for Thunderbolt and this will obviously one hit KO this Volcarona. So right now Magneton is in its rage mode because it's already take two of uh, his guys and it's not finished. So. After this he decided to bring in his Latios again and here I was fearing a Dracometeor coming so I decided to uh, take a switch to my free times pretty much of Death Water but uh, he decided to go for a Surf which kind of surprised me because right now I know that he's lucky using that move and I can easily go for uh, Azumarill just to resist water type attacks and uh, probably go for an Ice Punch just to kill it so uh, after that he decided to take a switch into his Machamp just to uh, fodder it and to see what I will lock myself into, but I decided to be more smart than that and to double switch into my Magnetov again. So uh, right now <laughs> there's like this same situation which was 5 seconds ago. He decided to go for a serve on his Latias. Fortunately for me, my Magnetov ends up surviving this with just 19 of its HP and I'm able to pull off a Thunderbolt which is unfortunately for me not powerful enough to take down this Latias. So after that I decided to, uh, you know, just uh, take the advantage of the resistance and I take a switch to Azumarill just to absorb uh, the water damage. Okay, now here is the deal. His Latias needs to switch because uh, his Surf is not doing anything to my Azumarill. So I decided to lock myself into my most powerful move which is a Waterfall, it's tough and uh, with huge power it will definitely kill everything that will comes in. He decided to fodder his Chansey which is a wise choice if you ask me because with Choice Scarf it was pretty useless for him. And after that he decided to bring in his Latias again. I thought that he won't survive the South Rock Recall, but apparently it is. So that kind of pissed me off, and I decided to take a switch into my Magnetov, uh, pretty much of a death fodder. He decided to lock himself in Thunderbolt, which is a good choice, because there's an only move which can one hit KO my Azumarill. But of course my Azumarill is carrying Aqua Jet, so I decided to lock myself into. And his last poke, which he haven't revealed yet, is Fortress. And I was like, damn, because I just can't take this thing out with one hit. And if this Fortress is carrying explosion, I'll be a huge trouble. But uh, fortunately for me, his Fortress is pretty much of an entry hazard inducer. It's got only um, spikes and salt rocks, and uh, of course, Gyro Ball, which won't do that much because Azamar isn't that fast. So um, it looks like a free hit KO at this range, and he decided to run because he wanted to speed up things a bit and yeah. So that was a great game. Your source, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.